Hi guys, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at setting up TDAR in macOS. We're going to be looking at running a server and node standalone, and also how to run a node on macOS connecting back to a TDAR server on Unraid. So if that sounds interesting, I guess we best get started. Okay, so now let's install and set up TDAR on macOS. So here we are over on my Mac running Big Sur. Well, actually, it's a Mac VM running on Unraid. So let's open up a browser, go to download, macOS, and download TDAR for macOS. So with that done, let's minimize the browser, put the file on the desktop, unzip the file. Now, I don't want this file just not inside a folder, so I'm going to create one and pop this extracted file into there. Okay, so just like before on Windows, we've got a file called TDAR Updater. So I'm going to run this. And again, this runs in Terminal. And just like on Windows, it's downloading everything we need. Okay, so that's done. And you can see here inside the folder we have the TDAR Updater, there's now a whole bunch more files and folders. So now I want to run the TDAR server, so I'm going to go into this folder here. Now we need to give this file here permissions to be able to run. So I'm going to open a terminal window and I'm going to type sudo chmod777 and I'm going to drag this file over into the terminal window. That will put its location here. And I'm just going to hit enter, pop in my password and we can see the file's changed. So now I can double click it to run and now it will download everything it needs for the TDAR server. And we can see that's now finished. And we can see the address that the TDAR server is running on. I'm going to copy it onto the clipboard. Go back to my web browser. Open a new tab. And paste it in the address. So here we are. We've got a TDAR server up and running. Now obviously we can't see any nodes running here yet. So let's minimize this and now get the node running. So go back to the main TDAR folder. Open the node file here. So I can minimize the TDAR server. Go back to my terminal window. Again, type sudo chmod777. Then I'm going to drag this file in there, make it executable, and now I can run the TDAR node. And again, everything for the node's downloading. If I go back to the web UI, there we can see the TDAR node being given the lovely name of Low Lies. Wow. Now, just like when I set up TDAR on Windows, I'm not going to go into great information in this video. About configuring TDAR, I'm only going to briefly go through setting up a library. As the setup of TDAR is pretty much similar on every system, and I go into a lot more detail in my original TDAR video where I set it up on Unraid. So now, as of making this video, I found I had a slight problem when using the file browser setting up a library with TDAR, and I'll show you that now. So I'm going to go across to Library and then add a source. And if I add a source here, and click on show browser and I'm going to go into my documents here and into this folder here called transcode test let's put the location in here and for the transcode cache again I'm going to use the show browser and choose this temporary folder here now there's one thing that's going to go wrong if I scan for fresh files here and go back to the TDAR main page and if I scroll down to the bottom here all of my files have had an error and if I look at the information about that error, it's basically saying it can't access the source file. This is strange because it sees the actual episode here, but it doesn't actually see it. So basically, using the TDAR node and server on macOS, as of making this video, we can't use the actual browser to put in our locations. So what we need to do, I'm going to erase the location, and I'm going to open up a terminal window here, and then I'm going to go to my documents folder and I'm going to drag the transcode test into this terminal window and that gives me the location. So I'm going to copy the location onto the clipboard and paste that in here for the source files. Now I'm going to do the same for transcode cache here. I'm going to drop this folder temp into here, see what the location is, copy it, get rid of that old location there and paste in the location. So I'm going to scan the library again, go back to the TDAR main page, 
and now we can see the transcoding's working correctly. So it seems that when running the server and node on macOS, we need to manually put the whole location in rather than use the file browser to browse and have it automatically put the location that way. Okay, so now let's have a look at connecting a node on macOS to a TDAR server running on Unraid. So I'm going to close both the TDAR server and the TDAR node here. And now I'm going to run the node and connect it to the TDAR server on the Unraid server. So, again, just like Windows, we've got a file called configs. Three config files. I'm going to edit the TDAR node config file here. I'm going to use TextMate on Mac to edit this. The first thing I'm going to do is change the name here. And I'm going to call it MacVM. Now this MacVM which is running this TDAR node is actually on a different Unraid server to the server which is running the TDAR server container. So it's going to have a different IP address. I need to find the IP address of this MacVM which is 10.10.20.169. Again, this is a static IP address assigned through the router using address reservation. So for the node IP, I'm going to pop that IP address in here. And just as we did before, because the TDAR server is running on Unraid, and the IP of that server is 10.10.20.199, I can leave all this as it is. And again, I'm going to need two path translators. So I'm going to add a second set of server and node path translators. So to make it easier, I'm not going to just type it in like I did in the Windows video. I'm just going to copy these ones here and then paste them below. Each path translator location, the server and node, is inside curly brackets. And when we add another one, we need to put a comma after the closing curly bracket. So with the comma there now, I can hit enter onto a new line and then paste in the second path translator underneath. So I'm going to open back up Firefox, make it half the size of the screen, go to my Unraid web UI, open up the template of the TDAR server, and again, I need to map the path inside the TDAR server into the config file after server here in between the two quotations. I'm going to put that location. And for node, as I'm using the root of my shares, I'm going to connect to the root share, just like I did in Windows. So to do that, on the finder bar at the top, I'm going to go to Go, connect to server, and here you can see I've got SMB, colon forward slash forward slash 10.10.20.199, and then forward slash, and the name of the share is root share. So I'm going to click Connect, and there are all my shares. So I'm going to close this now. Again, on the finder top bar here, I'm going to go to Preferences. And I'm going to check this here where it says Connected Servers. This will allow me to see the connected network connections onto my desktop. OK, and so here's the root share. So I want to know the location of this. So the easiest way I can do that is I'm going to open the terminal window. And I'm just going to drag the root share into terminal. And then we can see what it is forward slash volumes, forward slash root share. So I'm going to put that in here. Forward slash volumes with a capital V, forward slash root share. So that's done there. So now we need to put in the transcode cache location, this forward slash temp. So I'm going to pop that location in here, forward slash temp. And then for the node location, again, I'm going to bring out my terminal window. And now I'm going to open up the root share here. And here's the transcode temp. So I'm going to drag that into my terminal window to find out its location. Now I'm not going to use this location exactly as it appears here. And that's because the folder transcode temp has a space in it, obviously between the words transcode and temp. And in terminal, when locations are presented and they have a space in it, unless that whole location is put in quotations, to represent the space, there'll be a backslash and then the space. Now in the TDAR node configuration file, the location is in quotations, so I need to put the location in with the space without the preceding backslash first. So I'm going to put forward slash volumes, forward slash root share, forward slash transcode space temp. Okay, so with that done, the node's all set up. So I can close this now. 
save the changes and let's close these windows we don't need open up the tdar folder open up the tdar node folder and again run the node okay so the nodes registered so i can minimize this i'm going to go to the web browser close these windows that i don't need and open up the tdar web ui on unraid and so now we can see three nodes the quadro p2000 the mac vm and the razor laptop so that's how to connect a node running on mac os to a tdar server running on unraid now, like I said earlier, if you want to know more about setting up TDAR, then see my earlier video where I set it up on Unraid. And also, why not watch the Windows one? Because TDAR pretty much runs the same on all systems. You may see something in some of the other videos that will just help you with this one. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. The next one's going to be setting up TDAR on a Ubuntu-based Linux distro. So if you found this video useful and you liked it, well, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share this video with anyone who you think might find it useful. Thanks to all of my patrons and supporters out there. Thank you very much guys for your support. I really, really appreciate it. It's you guys that make these videos possible. Anyway guys, it's time for me to go now, but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.